hours away from the El Clasico. It is Real Madrid versus Barcelona at the Santiago Bonaval. And I have with me former Barcelona legend, former Dutch legend, Patrick Flywood in the house. Hello. Patrick, welcome to India. Thank you very and much. I believe it's your first time in Mumbai. How does it feel? This is my first time in uh, Mumbai and uh, for, for now, all good. All good? Yes, okay. all good. So now, of course, we are going to be dwelling into the Clasico. And you know, you spent a good six seasons at Barcelona. Yeah. And you've scored 122 goals. 23. You know, whopping 123 goals. All right, I'll correct myself. <laughs> 123 goals for Barcelona. You've partnered with legends like Rivaldo and of course later with uh, Sampioli as well. Now, you know, in terms of as, as a striker there at Barcelona, just tell us about some of your favorite moments at the camp. Well, um, my favorite moments are all the games that I played in uh, in Camp Nou. Um, it's the biggest stadium in uh, in Europe, as, as everybody knows. Um, played amongst a lot of uh, great uh, players. Um, when I first signed for for Barcelona in '97, uh, um, I had on the right side Luis Figo, and on the left side I had Rivaldo. So uh, the the the, the serves from the side were fantastic, and I could have scored uh, a lot of goals. Um, my time at Barcelona uh, was the best time uh, abroad uh, what I had in a, in a, in a club and, a, and you know the, the club is in my heart. You know it's uh, it's been a pleasure and I've been very grateful to have been uh, play for uh, for Barcelona. Club is in your heart and you know when we talk about management now, you've been a manager yourself yeah. and a you know, team director as well. And now you've of course you know uh, started your career at Ajax and the Gaal and you know he was also the manager when you arrived at Barcelona. Yeah. So tell us about Louis van Gaal and the impact that you had you know as a mentor and in your career. Actually uh, Louis van Gaal he brought me in the first team when I was um, a youth player because the story was that uh, Ronaldo uh, went to PSV and he, he normally uh, would have come to Ajax because if right. I come to Ajax I would not have, have jumped into the first team. So I was very happy and I'm very thankful that he went to PSV, so I could um, I could join the first team of, of Ajax. Um, Van Gaal made uh, make an effort and, and, and gave me the chance to perform uh, in the first team. And well, uh, when I when I came in the first team, I never never went out. So that was the first time. The second time um, that Van Gaal called me was um, that I was playing for AC Milan. And he asked me if I would join Barcelona, so it was for me a no-brainer. And uh, I went direct to, to Barcelona, and from there on, yeah, the, the you went to Barcelona. You had a great time. Attracted. You won La Liga and you know many other trophies. Yes. But talking about the managers now, I mean, of course, a lot of you know, lots being said about Xavi now, a former Barcelona legend as a player, now yes. you know becoming manager, a hero for the fans. But just tell us a bit about you know going into history. You've seen very closely Van Gaal. You've seen your uh, friend Frank Rijkaard. Yes. You've seen uh, Guardiola, of course, who's now a huge name in football. Yes. So how does Xavi compare to the likes of Guardiola, of uh, you know Rijkaard, and of course Louis Van Gaal? Well, uh, Xavi has, has, has of course uh, played with uh, with uh, um, Pep Guardiola, uh, played under uh, Van Gaal uh, with me. Um, his style of play is, is actually uh, a little bit in those in that in that region as well. Um, but every time uh, a new coach uh, is doing his thing, he's, he's got his own ingredients. He's taking one of this coach, one of that coach. But at the end, it's yourself who who, are, who who is going to decide how, how you're playing. And that is he's doing very good, I think, Javi. Um, well, top of the league. Uh, it's a pity that uh, in, in, in Champions League uh, the things uh, were not uh, that uh, that positive, but I think that he's now uh, busy in a transition year because uh, they, they bought a lot of players, they sold a lot of players, so uh, the players that they have they need to adapt more, and, and I think that if they are getting solid uh, next year they they will be uh, performing much much better in, in the Champions League. You led me to my next question beautifully: Barcelona Real Madrid neck and neck, 22 points. There's just goal difference separating the two teams. Yep. So how excited are you for the title race this season? I am very excited and, and this can be the first step uh, between the clash uh, in El Clasico. And everybody knows how much uh, emotion and passion is coming into this game. And everybody knows as well that uh, this game is, is the best 
uh, best watched uh, game in the world. Uh, I, I just saw it. Uh, it was uh, 650 million viewers, Absolutely. only for for uh, a Classico. And yeah, this is an amazing uh, uh, number, of course. And you know that the, the, the attention that that this game has, the impact in the world that this uh, this game uh, this this particular Classico has, is is enormous. Enormous. Now you've touched upon this. Lewandowski and Benzema, two of you know the most fierce strikers in the planet. Yeah. As a former striker yourself, how do you compare the two, and you know who do you think is slightly better? Well, Benzema is now I think uh, in his 11th year at uh, at, um, at Real Madrid. Uh, he's he's scoring. He's playing so good for Real Madrid. And of course, everybody knows Lewandowski. He comes from from Bayern Munich. Uh, he, his adaptation is, is extraordinary good, uh, scoring goals, helping uh, uh, the team when when the team doesn't have the ball, uh, making other players uh, play better. Um, between those, um, very difficult because every coach is is happy to have one of those players in that team, and 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 they are players who can decide the game in one action. Uh, so. Uh, Fair enough. You can't put one over the other. Fair enough. No, but no, 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 because they're both fantastic, uh, right. fantastic strikers. Now you know, coming to tonight's game, we're just a few hours, uh, you know, yeah. just away from the game. Now Madrid, of course, are top of the league on you know eleven on points. They're defending champions. They're also Champions League winners. Yeah. So give us a bit about you know can, uh, how can Ch Carlo Ancelotti's men are so successful, you know, in the last uh, couple of seasons. And how do you see this game? Consistency, I think. I think that um, if you if you look at the, the players, um, they're playing also for a long time with uh, with each other. If somebody's going away, uh, one or two players are going away, but they're in, empowering their, their their team with a lot of good players as well. Um, yeah, that's why they they, they, they they know how how to how to how to play the game, uh, national and interna international uh, wise. And I think that um, yeah, what, I, what I just said, the consistency in the team is uh, is, is so good, and everybody knows what their what their task is, and that's why they're they're winning a lot of a lot of trophies uh, after a return. Okay, now we just as I mentioned, just a few hours left for El Clasico. What is your score prediction? I'm going to put you on the spot. What is your score prediction? How do you see this game going? Well, I think that Real Madrid has a slight slight advance because they're playing at home, but. Barcelona will, 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 will put fire on them. Uh, I personally think it will be 2-2. And that's a fair result, I think. 2-2 is Louis Cli Patrick Clymer's prediction. And finally, Patrick, last but not the least, your camera is right there. What is your message to all the La Liga and football fans in India? Um, well, first of all, uh, hi, everybody. Uh, I'm happy to be in, uh, in Mumbai. Um, Keep on uh, uh, supporting La Liga, keep on supporting the, the beautiful game of football and um, you know, they give, give the, the, the players who play in the National uh, League, uh, empower them to, to, be, uh, to be better players and, and maybe uh, players need to come to, uh, to La Liga as well and, and get the cooperation uh, more lively. Absolutely, fingers crossed for that. Thank you so much Patrick and looking forward to a great game tonight. Appreciate it.